Okay, we're given a graph with several points uh, lettered here. We've gone ahead and named them A, B, C, all the way through H. And we want to identify, do we have local maxima, which would be a maximum, or global maximum, where do we have those, and local minima and global minimum, as well as critical points as we take a look at this. All right, so first of all, let's go through one at a time. A is the lowest point, so I'd call that a minima. B is not a lowest point or a highest point on the graph, so it doesn't get classified. C looks to be a highest point, so it goes as a maximum. It also appears to be the very, very highest point on the entire graph, so that'd be the global maximum. All right, D is kind of in the middle there, so it's not going to be a maximum or minimum. E is going to be a minimum, or minima is another way to say that. And then, uh, let me see, F appears to be a hot at the top of a hill, so it goes as a maxima, but not the very highest point, so it's not the global maximum. Uh, G is kind of in the middle, not the highest or the lowest in that section, and H appears to be a lowest point, so it's going to go as a minima. Now, it also appears to be the very lowest point on the entire graph, so I'm going to go ahead and classify it as the global minimum. Now, they didn't point out these endpoints on the graph. Typically, if we have a nice filled-in circle at the end, like we appear to, that would also get classified. This one would be a maximum, and on the left-hand side would also be a maximum. They don't appear to be the very highest point on the entire graph, so it would only be a local or relative maximum. All right, now critical points. Critical points occur whenever the first derivative is either equal to zero or would be undefined. So that means the slope of the tangent line would be horizontal if the first derivative equals zero. That's going to happen here at A. It appears to happen here at C, and now it doesn't happen at B, right? B is going to be, you know, about a slope of 1, so the first derivative would equal 1 at B. Um, D, no. E is kind of unique on this. Now, E it would actually be undefined, so that actually goes as a critical point, all right? Undefined meaning like a vertical line would be the... Uh, tangent line if we were to try to draw one in. We typically do not when we have a sharp corner though is what you can be looking for on a graph. Alright, F has a horizontal tangent line so it gets classified as a critical point and H would also have a horizontal tangent line which goes as a critical point as well. Now one takeaway you may have is taking a look at all of these critical points they also correspond with all of our local maxima and local minima. All right, so if we're going to be looking for maximums and minimums, we could look for them on a graph, or if we're given a function, we can set that, we can take the derivative, set it equal to zero, or figure out whenever it's going to be undefined, like dividing by zero is not allowed. All right, hope this helps out as you're trying to visualize what local and uh, maximums and minimums looks like, as well as global maximums and minimums.